Stefan Puskas. Today we're gonna troubleshoot my uh, pull heater. It stops working. I localized that it's this flow meter that's uh, not working right properly. So the way I uh, discovered that uh, the sensor was faulty is by using a multimeter like this and you need to measure ohms resistance uh, this sensor is a flow flow sensor and uh, it will shut off the 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 compressor inside for safety reasons, if there's no, not enough water flowing through fr from the pump and back again. So the way I discovered that uh, the sensor was faulty, I hooked it up with the ohm meter like this. and simulated that the water is flowing through. Oh, you, did you see? So there's an arrow showing uh, which way the, the, the flow is going to activate the sensor. So when I push this, there's a little, little click And I'm now holding the sensor in active position. And as, I, as you can see on the multimeter, it's, it's not stable. The ohm reading is in kilo ohms and it's fluctuating back and forth. So I tried to press a little bit harder on the sensor and the kilowatt kilo ohm reading disappears but it's still a little bit high 30 ohms 26 ohms so i had had this azuro heater for like 10 12 years or something so it's no no wonder so the next step i wanted to check is uh, if the sensor is faulty I connected a bridge between those two connections there there's where the sensor is connected on the on the circuit board so I've been running like this now for like three weeks <laughs> with this uh, this simulated flow sensor so I have a pressure sensor on the on my pump inside so that that has been working as safety so <coughs> the difference here with the new sensor is that it has three wires so I found the manufacturer of this sensor by looking at the product name. So I uh, looked it up. They've, they, so I ordered a new sensor like this. Uh, they had it on, in a ware warehouse in France. So I got it shipped to Sweden for a little bit less than a week. So as you can see, there's three wires on this new sensor, but only two on the old one. That's why, because this sensor is uh, normally opened, that means is when uh, there's no uh, activation, the circuit inside is opened. And as soon as it's activated, oh, a mosquito, then uh, the, the 
circuit will close inside. So this is totally capsuled, so there's no chance. But the new one, it has two functions. One is common, I don't know exactly which one. And the one is normally opened, and the other one is normally closed. So th this is what we need to measure out with the ohm meter to know which one, uh, which one is the common. Common, probably black is common. And we'll try out with the blue one, perhaps. You see, the sensor is not activated. So if we activate it... Huh? The wrong one, perhaps. Between this one, the brown one and the black one. Oh, there you see. It's normally closed because there is almost no resistance. It's 1.7 ohms. So the sensor is not activated. That's, that means it's, it's then normally closed. So next step is to find out which one of the black and the brown is the common one. Uh, and you see when I activate the sensor, uh, the circuit breaks. The kilowatt, mega ohm kilo ohm and now mega ohm and this uh, multimeter doesn't show anything uh, endless resistance does that mean okay so let's try the blue and the blue and the brown Oh, well, blue and brown. So brown is the common one. You see, this is normally open because the circuit is not activating the sensor. So I would, when I activate the sensor, uh, the circuit closes. So now I know those two go into the circuit board and the third one I will just put something out because otherwise when the pump is off there will go 24 volts out on this this cable here so it's very important to secure this so it doesn't connect with ground or anything in the circuit board so let's uh, install the sensor and see if it works okay so now <clears throat> I plugged in the cable, the sensor, flow sensor here on those two instead of that jumper and secured the sluice wire with a socket like this, I don't know what it's called. So I measured uh, before that the that, uh, controls were okay. So there's no uh, fault error, error message. We're just gonna wait for the fan and the compressor to start up. So the sensor installed here, like this. Uh, make sure that uh, the flow arrow is pointing in the water di flow direction so the water is going that way this way and that way and then uh, this paddle will shift and the electronics will know uh, that the f that the current the, fl the water is flowing so still no error message Ah, I think it's uh, because it's uh, too hot. Let's put in some cold water. Well, well, uh, well. Temperature is going down, so uh, it starts at 27 degrees Celsius. And there, now the compressor is starting. The fan is going. 
and I can hear the compressors working. Hallelujah. Well, I will uh, put everything back to together and let's hope it works the rest of this summer. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.